like you know the L1 change of crypto and and the beginning of altcoins i think that this is the biggest opportunity uh for the entire space and probably will create um you know some you know the the proverbial big winners of the of the next run there's an industry that crypto is is perfect for changing and that is video games and quote metaverse and so all the protocols that are going to be critical to that which are you know the easy ones uh, but there are many are ethereum polygon solana those to me are like where i'm going to be loading up during this bear market because i believe that's the future that's why i've spent the last since i met you guys in 2019 i was showing you the games i was working on this has been my belief about the market for uh pretty much five years now um and so that's just where I think things are headed. So I'm personally going to weight my portfolio more towards the gaming stuff and the metaverse stuff because that's a, a multi, that's over almost $200 billion of people buying digital clothing, digital stuff. There's just not a fully digital economy like that that you can compare anything to. And so that is going to go onto the blockchain eventually. And I'm excited to see that. And even if it takes 10 years, I believe that people who fill up their baskets and, and get the right eggs in their basket from that world are going to do phenomenally. And so um, that's a, just a social change that even if the market's flat for 10 years, I believe that games will continue to innovate and continue to gain market share within a flat market. So that's like a real change um, that doesn't require you know free money printing for it to grow. And so those are the areas that I'm really excited for. Um, I'll be DCAing heavily into Ethereum, heavily into Bitcoin, heavily into Metaverse. So crypto gaming, in your opinion, is still one of the biggest opportunities in 2023 if you're looking long-term? Yeah, obviously we don't know timing, right? And and we don't know when, but, but I've said it before, one hit game, one great game will convert a whole generation into crypto gamers and it'll be that simple. It's just a matter of time for me. It's uh no one can no one can tell me otherwise and I won't hear it because I'm so so convinced that this is the area for the max amount of innovation. And it was almost a disservice to the to the motion to the movement, uh the amount of hype that uh metaverse gained in Q4 because, you know, people now think because the tokens are down in value that the metaverse is no longer a viable opportunity. The reality is we had one game we had Axie Infinity, and then we had, you know, Facebook changed their name to Meta, but it's it's so early and um, and it was too early for that level of hype, but there will be a point where the fundamentals outpace the valuations. And that is the magic moment that I think hopefully will happen here in the near future, but I'm going to be here uh, hammering away, building games, building NFT protocol features until that happens, because I believe that that is the, the most important moment, probably since like you know, the L1 change of crypto and, and the beginning of altcoins, I think that this is the biggest opportunity uh, for the entire space and probably will create, um, you know, some, you know, the, the proverbial big winners of the, of the next run. Tell us more about imposters. Can, can people play the Web3 social deduction game imposters today? And if not now, when? Because you say yeah. it's fun, people want to play it. Yeah, no, we we've been holding playtests. We're we're holding playtests for our holders. So you know we're keeping it controlled, obviously, to get this early feedback. Uh, but it's been about two months of playtests right now that we've been holding. We've hit uh, seven milestones on the uh, Genesis roadmap uh, exactly in the time they've been promised. Uh, and so the community is extremely, extremely happy. Obviously, the market's been you know very bearish over the last three months, but the community is extremely long term and extremely happy. Um, and the game is is growing and improving rapidly. Um, and so you know the 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 purpose of a game like Imposters is because there's so many first person shooters, third person shooters, MMOs. Those games breaking into the top game category for those categories is extremely unlikely um for for any studio of any any size. Um however, social games and social deduction in particular is very new and there's not a huge obviously among us is the leader, but there's not a huge AAA titan like Blizzard or Activision that are like um or or you know, Respawn or these big uh studios that are like holding down um that genre just yet. And so there's a huge open market of uh, 600 million uh, social deduction players um, that we see as a likely target to adopt a fun new version of the game that has more expandable functionality. And the reason why we think that Imposters has that shot is because the focus is on tools for content creators. The reason why social deduction got popular was all the streamers would play it. And when I talked to some of the biggest you know, gamer streamers in the world, they said, I said, well, why did you play it? And they said, it was the easiest, most fun content we've ever made. 
And I said, well, why'd you stop playing it? And they said, well, we ran out of things to do in the game. Um, and so by opening up the toolkit for user-generated content, by opening up the toolkit for community to create more and more experiences and customize those experiences, even monetize via, via NFTs those experiences, we're going to open up the concepts of social gaming and the toolkit of, of content creation in this very robust way for content creators. And so we believe that imposters will be innovative within gaming. Um, we believe that it's not just, hey, we strapped NFTs onto a game, but we really believe that this is the right way to make a new franchise within gaming today in 2022. It's it's our belief on where social gaming is going and where gaming is going. Um, and we believe that NFTs fit perfectly into it. So, that, so that's the deal with imposters. The early game tests have been like incredible. Um, and, you know, we'll be obviously explaining how imposters connects with uh, the super farm DAO, as well as the uh, other product coming to the ecosystem as well, because they're all very synergistic and they're all going to work together. Uh, and those are some surprises that I wish I could tell you all of right now, but um, the team's been super hard at work. The foundation's been super hard at work. And uh, this is going to be one of the biggest months in history for the project. Dude, we definitely want to have you back on. And the minute that's released and like average people can play, the thing I like the best about just looking at the game footage and just knowing the project is that there's a Web3 component, but you don't have to be in crypto to play the game, which I think will obviously onboard way more people early on. Although if you do want the play to earn aspects, there's ways to get involved in that too. Yes. Yes, yeah, so the NFT should be a higher quality of life, but it, you should never be restricted from the fund for not having NFTs or else, you know, it's going to be really hard to get uh, millions and millions of people playing. Um, but yeah, exactly. We're, we're trying to really marry the best of online multiplayer gaming with the best that NFT utility can provide. Real briefly, how is Superform? How is Imposters? Imposters is is being played by its early community right now, and the the, the tests have been insane. Like people are just begging for more and more sessions. Uh, the streamers and the the actual gamer community that we've talked to is loving it. I'm personally craving more and more games, and uh, and it's really just about building a game that has a, a real chance to to make it out there and to affect gamers and to be a, a tool set for content creators. And that's the, fundamentally how we view imposters is uh, you know gaming. NFTs need a cultural moment. And so we need to speak to uh, the, the people who impact culture in gaming, which is the streamers and the content creators. And so giving them awesome games that they can make content with, that's what it's all about. And uh, and yeah, we're really, really, really proud of the work with Imposters, uh, which is part of the Super Farm DAO ecosystem. And, uh, and what is also part of the Super Farm DAO ecosystem is the marketplace that we're about to release here in the next few weeks, which is why this is a huge month for us starting to really show that and um, really the superb uh, and powerful piece of technology that that is. And it's all in one tidy package under the Superfarm DAO uh, ecosystem. Uh, and again, we're going to be delivering a lot of updates on governance and how everything sort of fits together uh, in the ecosystem this month. And it's it's honestly one of the most exciting parts of my professional journey is is what's about to happen. So uh, I can't I can't tell you how I'm excited how excited I am for what comes next from a tech standpoint.